What's up everybody, welcome to Project Auto. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install dynamic turn mirror signals on your Mercedes Benz. Uh, this is valid for several models, I'll be installing it on a W204 C-Class today. Uh, but usually between uh, 2008 and 2015 models. Uh, as long as the mirror housings are just like the ones you see here, it's pretty much going to work. Uh, now this isn't a terribly difficult install, so uh, I'm, my goal is to make the video as quick as possible here, make it as simple as possible. And uh, what you're seeing right now is just the original housing, and this is what the original signals look like. So they're just, they're LED, but they only blink. So nothing too special. They do look really nice at night, but we're going to do a little upgrade. Now we're going to start by pretty much loosening up the housing a little bit. There's a lip on the bottom here that you can see the mirror is uh, hanging over a little bit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to move the mirror itself back and you can do that simply by adjusting it within your car. And so you'll see I'll turn the inside in and the bottom part inwards. So that way you can see that black lip appear underneath and that's just the plastic within the mirror itself. Then what we're going to do is we're going to proceed to pull out the mirror housing. So we're going to come from the end closer to the rear end of the vehicle and we're simply going to pull out and up. Now the bottom here should be relatively easy to pull out so uh, don't let it give you too much pressure here and uh, of course you guys should be aware that uh, these aren't terribly fragile so you're good to give it a little extra effort if it's not coming up. Now once you loosen up the bottom there, if you need to, you can use a tool. Usually the first time it's the hardest. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's going to be a piece of cake. But pretty much you'll just push in there and get it out. Once you get it out from the bottom, you can work your way out to the side of the mirror uh, next to the signal. And then from there, using your pry tool, you're just going to work your way around the back end of the mirror. Uh, this way, you'll open up one end and work your way around uh, going through the other end as you will see here. Now, once you start to loosen that up, you'll realize that the clips are opened up and just lift uh, straight up, careful not to scratch the mirror itself. Uh, some people like to actually remove the mirror, but in this case it's definitely not necessary, which is why we're just careful when removing it. Now you can see once removed here, you can kind of take a look at uh, how the mirror sits and where some clips are and uh, that little blue plug as well. So one thing you just want to be uh, making sure of is that you're careful when you pull up from everything just to make sure that you're not uh, ruining any of the clips. You can see up close here that there are quite a few little bits that'll kind of stick together. There's a primary clip right there. You want to be careful when pulling that one up for sure. Here in the front, this is where we were pulling the very first part. So this is the part you're kind of pulling outwards and upwards from. And this is kind of just like where the whole housing sinks together. And then there are a couple other small clips uh, on the sides, or at least they look like clips. There are just two little wires, uh, which are part of the mirror, and then the actual plug itself, which is uh, the part that plugs into the turn signal. So now that we've got the whole housing pulled out, you can see here kind of what it looks like on the inside. Uh, you may want to take this opportunity to maybe clean the outside and whatnot, but here's the uh, comparison of the signals. You can see these uh, new signals are smoked, uh, which I'm neither a fan of nor against it. You know, it is what it is. I'm more there for the function. Anyways, we've got uh, two small T10 uh, screws here that we're going to end up removing to actually remove the signal from the housing. Uh, if I can get it a little clearer here, you can see one on the bottom and one on the top, and right next to them are little clips. Right there you can see also that plug uh, that will actually connect to the blue part that I mentioned on the mirror itself. So, like I said, we're going to end up taking a little Torx uh, T10 bit and uh, that's what's going to be uh, the easiest way to get these out. Um, nothing special, just uh, something you should really have on hand if you work uh, a lot with foreign cars, especially Mercedes, they use a lot of Torx uh, bits. 
So we're just going to get to work on this right here. And get the next one. It might be a little difficult uh, to get loose at first. There might be a little bit of oxidization in there. All right, now once these are out here, uh, you still won't be able to pull it free. You've got two little clips next to those screws. And uh, these can actually be simply pushed in. So uh, you'll be able to see it easier uh, once you get the housing out, but they're angled. So they're simply the type that you push down and uh, you'll pull uh, the signal itself the other way. So the easiest way to do it I found uh, after giving it a little wiggle a couple of different ways was uh, pretty much just end up putting uh, a thumb on each of the bits at the same time actually and kind of twisting between your index finger and your thumb. Of course you can try and do it one at a time like I'm doing here. Uh, I think the bottom one comes up easier first and then you can move on to the next one. Then you'll also have to uh, pull the or push the signal in. That center strip here that I just pointed to, this has a little bit of glue at the end of it. Uh, so you'll actually have to separate, help that separate uh, from the signal itself. It's only at the tip, it's not actually through the whole thing. Once you get that loose then, uh, you'll just kind of be able to push on those clips and then uh, simply take the signal out. You'll have to kind of push the signal in because the outside uh, facing end is like an anchor and so uh, you'll push that in and you'll kind of have to almost if you think like the shape of a banana you'll have to work your way back and forth um, almost like seesawing it uh, until it comes out so now we can take this and take a look at it uh, as compared to the new turn signal here and uh, dimension wise of course they're the same uh, there's no lines or you can't see the chip on the side it's just a uh, darker smoke finish but all the dimensions and the clips look like they're the same uh, we do have a little extra white wire here uh, which is for a feature that uh, technically uh, my car doesn't have so this white wire uh, adds another feature to these uh, signals which allows it when you unlock your car at night uh, for it to do a pattern design. You usually take that white wire and hook it up to your uh, puddle lights from the mirrors. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my car is a 2010 and does not have those from the factory, so I'm unable to do that without an extreme hard wire. So like I said, uh, you might want to take this opportunity to just give uh, the inside of the mirrors a little bit of a clean, a little bit of a polish. You know, you're not going to open these up every day so you just might want to get a little bit of uh, the dirt out of there since they're open if you're going to be reusing the same housing of course if you're going to maybe up be upgrading to like carbon fiber uh, housings or a different color uh, you also can just slide the new signals right in and not have to worry about putting your new signals back on or your new housings okay so now that that's done we're going to be sliding the new signal back into the housing um, installation is pretty much reverse of the uninstall so uh, what you're going to do is you're actually going to slide the end facing outwards in first and then uh, you can just snap the other end in uh, that is facing on the inside just make sure that those clips are all pushed in uh, the white wire here we're just going to have it uh, laying to the side because like I said in our function it's not going to be particularly uh, useful uh, so we're just going to leave it there nothing to worry about uh, you can see here fitments uh, pretty good if you have white uh, housings uh, it seems like always no matter what you're going to buy headlights even taillights uh, there's going to be somewhat of a more obvious like shadow to it and it's not going to look uh, as clean as perhaps like red or clear um, ones, which is partially why the smoke lens thing, it's kind of so-so in my opinion. 
Anyways, you want to make sure that these clips are on properly. You might just have to give them a little push, and then uh, you're going to basically install the torque screws once again. Lefty loosey righty tighty. And uh, once we get both those in, we'll, and make sure also that these wires are not in the way. You don't want them uh, getting snug down, tugged down by the uh, screw itself. You want them clear of any obstructions. Uh, you don't want to risk damaging the wires themselves or uh, perhaps causing other forms of damage. And make sure to make uh, check that they're tight. Uh, do not over tighten these screws, of course. It won't be necessary. You don't want to be breaking the bolt or snapping any pieces of plastic. And like I said, the white wire can just hang. Uh, as you see it there, it's not really going to have any sort of effect on uh, the function. All right, so it's good to go back in. Now uh, we're going to head back outside, and like I said, pretty much same same thing as before. Uh, we're going to make sure that this uh, clip here that plugs into the uh, blue part of the housing itself, that little tip right there, uh, that's going to go inside this. That's the power supply for the turn signals. So we're going to make sure that's lined up and uh, we're going to go from above straight on in, uh, making sure not to scratch the mirror or anything. And very gently just kind of give it a little... Uh, push and uh, the clips just snap into place. If you're having any trouble, uh, make sure that there are no obstructions and make sure that the front end is pulled out a little bit. Anyways, you'll hear a couple snaps and uh, you can give it a kind of a little pull here and there to make sure that all the clips are properly fastened and uh, you're pretty much good to go. So here's what it looks like now. You can see that the uh, smoke gives it a little bit of a more significant impact, I'd say. So you can see there, uh, when I unlocked it, you can see the signal a little bit. So we're going to turn the hazards on here. And uh, FPS-wise, the camera might not catch everything because LEDs, uh, they're flashing very quickly. But... You can see here how the outcome looks, and we'll compare it to the other side here real quick, which is the regular signal. You can also note that these LEDs are much brighter than the OEM ones, so during the daytime, you can see them a little bit better, and especially with that cool animation. You know, who doesn't love that? That's the whole point of these, of course. <laughs> All right, guys, so the rest of the clips here I'm going to throw in are just uh, some daytime and nighttime clips of the turn signals and how they look. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a really easy install, uh, as long as you don't break anything, of course. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more uh, Mercedes-Benz videos. And uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.